Welcome to a new episode of Sean Resolute. It's Monday, Monday morning here on 20, 27th? Is it 27th? Yeah, 27th of March, Monday morning, and week 15 for me and my Achilles now. Uh, 15 weeks kind of flown by. Um, hit that mile marker on Friday. So technically 15 weeks and three days and I'm just at my gym which is behind me there. Okay so week week 15 I'm still carrying on with hitting the 10,000 steps. Most part I've been hitting around 13,000 steps a day that's not including the work that I'm doing in the gym. Gym wise I'm pretty much doing it's about four days I would say on average at the moment so last week I did Monday to Thursday and then Friday I had to travel down to, to Portland and so just did me walking Friday, Saturday, Sunday off again just doing the walking and now back on to Monday back in the gym. Okay, yeah, Monday morning back in the gym. Um, I would say my, the thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is the single leg calf raises now i'm able to do double um double leg calf raises they're not causing me too much of an issue i am trying to like make sure i'm doing the full range of motion and at the top it feels it feels stiff um in fact i'll show you that So as you can see, the the, um, the double leg calf raises are not too bad. The single one feels really stiff uh, and heavy. But one thing that I'm not stressing about it because I weigh 240 pounds. So, you know, it is a lot of weight to go through through that. And even, even on my left side, I wouldn't say it's necessarily easy. So again, it's understanding your body, how your body sort of works. Um, another, another sort of limiting factor for me is my range of motion in my ankles isn't great. I've played soccer my entire life. So with that, there's been a lot of like bad tackles. There's been a lot of twists, all sorts of, um, you know, were in turn on on them ankles which just means now at 39 years old um you know the the tight and the range of motion isn't that of um a 14 year old gymnast but again i'm slowly improving them um doing the exercises and little by little you know they'll be they'll be they'll be competent um i am able to to do some decent workouts now. Last week I did a lot of uh, EMOM style workouts, every minute on the minute, you know, like rowing and um, like dumbbell snatches and stuff like that. Not been doing too much with a barbell, uh, just simply because the gym, the gym that I'm at, there's like a nice, a nice room, like a functional fitness room, which doesn't have barbells in it. It has a great collection of uh, dumbbells and other equipment um, and that's where I've been the majority of the time and then my apartment gym is a similar setup really there's no there's no barbells um, so if I get chance to go into if there's a workout where I can go into the main part of the gym um, and use like the lifting platform there's a barbell there and I, and I will do but at the moment I'm enjoying um, more like the EMOM AMRAP style workouts just because I've not been able to do them in, in such a long time okay so other things to know 
I've got two weeks now, two weeks before I can start to do what the surgeon calls a old man shuffle. That's building into, into a run, but obviously I've got two weeks to basically get as much strength and mobility as possible in, in the leg. So I'm gonna keep with aiming to do them 10,000 steps a day, walking, specific walking. Um, that's going to build that like endurance, that strength endurance that, that I need um, for when I start doing, doing the running. Um, one thing that I've sort of, 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 of spoke to people about is when I do start to run, again, I'm like 240 pounds at the moment, like that's, that's a lot of weight to be bounding on the floor and then also little slips and stuff like that so I really want to make sure that that tendon's as strong as it possibly can be you know so I've got to be smart and consistent with with what I'm doing um, so yeah and other thing secret weapon well not really a secret weapon but one of the things that I found really really benefits me is the swimming pool I'm able to start to do like a little bit of swimming now um, and again it just moves that like tendon and ankle joint foot calf in in a in a safe um, environment but in a, in a new direction um, I'm able to do my single leg calf raises there so I'm able to get that like pattern down in my in my brain um, the double leg ones and I'm also able to do like bounding and jumping in in the swimming pool again all stuff that i can't do um, outside of the swimming pool and then alongside that i'll do the sauna i'll do like 10 minutes 15 minutes in the sauna and then i'll go into the jacuzzi again for another 10 minutes and that helps just flush out that calf get the blood going a little bit of sort of um, just loosens it up nicely because my, my main issue of tightness is around the right hand side. Um, and I've also, I've also got a tight spot that I'll, that I'll show you in a second on, on my heel. It's on the inside of my left. Um, but other than that, other than that, I think that's about it for, for this week. Um, yeah, let me just show you that left side of my foot. So the place I'm, I'm having the issue is right in here, is super tight. So my tendon's here, and then it's in the... Right there. What I've noticed that helps loosen that is if I just do some gentle self-massage uh, for about five minutes, it normally loosens it up, and then, um, yeah, it feel, feels okay. But, to be honest with you, I think where it's coming from is is the walking but it's just not not used to it um but yeah i think that's about it okay thanks for watching if you could like subscribe much appreciated any questions on this week anything that you would like to to know just just find me a comment at the moment um other than that i'm just going to keep keep these weekly ones going for the time being on on this achilles uh, journey to recovery all right bye bye